So what does copper balance do? Because um, I think a couple people are confused by how copper balance works. Uh, it is. It's it's a copper zinc metalthionine support. Something is dysfunctional in your metalthionine, in your copper zinc metalthionine. It's not putting copper inside the cell, so letting it float around your serum. That's why when we get that NCC or that serum copper, serum zinc, uh, whole blood pseudoplasma, that's why your levels are so high through the NCC and you have toxic levels of copper because it's not getting into your cells properly. Uh, Nature Pass came up with this concept first, though they thought it was just a copper toxicity issue. I don't think it's that. I think it's a misplaced copper issue. And your zinc's not... Maybe it's a zinc deficiency. I see that a lot on spectra cell. I also see a lot of copper deficiencies, but remember those are intracellular. And that's how we figured it out. That was a copper zinc metalthionine dysfunction. So copper balance, there's been lots of studies that showed that this deficiency B6 or this deficiency molybdenum or this deficiency zinc or whatever caused, caused the metalthionine to be dysfunctional. That's what's in copper balance, eight, eight of those to help you obtain functionality with your metalthionine.